What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this quick video and today we'll be talking about one of the best techniques when blending releases. This one here is not actually <laughs> rocket science or some glitchy things or anything of its kind. Some of you guys probably are doing this already, but this video here will give you more understanding on how blending works and how can you take advantage of the charts that I've been giving. Then try to watch the whole video so it will make full sense, it's not going to be that long anyway. And after watching, please let me know in the comment section what do you think about it. And before we go right into it, I just want to give you a quick brief on how blending actually works. It's like a refresher, so you can understand the next part more. So basically, blending will literally mix two animations depending on the proportions you put. In here, on the left one, that's 100% release 67, that's on chin level. And on the right one, that will be bird 100%, and that's on the top of the head level. And when you mix them 50-50, it will literally meet at the center. And on the middle one, it will be right on the forehead. So it literally mixed the two mechanics. These things here are not just cosmetics, they're not just visuals. It will change things internally like your challenge reduction. I made a test and it's pretty much accurate when I made a 50-50 break. The challenge reduction really met at the middle. I actually didn't expect it to be this accurate, but that's a good thing. With shot speed though, there's not much difference. I tested around 20 popular releases already, and so far we only have two types of speeds, so don't worry about that much. So before we go to the main topic, just want to quickly promote my new gaming channel. Would be awesome if you guys can check it out later after watching this video. Got some good stuff recently, I'll leave the link in the pinned comment section down below. So now for the main topic about the technique that I was talking about. It's pretty much straightforward. When you're blending two releases, one release should have a good challenge reduction and a second release should have the best visual cue that you really really like. One more thing is, with the first release, try to make it as plain as possible. In that way, your second release, which has the visual cue that you really like, will stand out more even with a 50-50 breakdown. It's up to you now how you want to break them down. It's either 60-40, 50-50 or whatever. If you can't still feel the visual cue, then just make a change. So for example, let's say you really like Trey Burke release, like you really like the visual cue of that release, and that's the one you've been using for a long time, but the problem is the challenge reduction is not that good. What you want to do is mix it with something that has good challenge reduction, and as much as possible has a plain visual cue. So far, my best bet for this are Ewing and Release 49. Both have simple visual cues and motions, and got good challenge reduction. And by the way, release 1 and release 2 are interchangeable, it doesn't matter. So now in here, you can see that even though it was mixed with release 49 50%, you can notice that it's pretty much the same jump shot. It still look like tray break release, but with a higher arc. Then when I checked the stats, it improved a lot. From almost 16% challenge average, now it's down to around 8%. And the good thing about it is you still keep almost the same flow, same technique that you really like, the one that you got used to, but with a higher arc because it cocks the ball now above the forehead level. Actually, there's some other viewers that already been doing the same thing while using my stats. This guy here used Dan Rue for the good challenge reduction and Paul George for the good visuals. I even mentioned it on my other video that PG really has a good cue. And this guy here used Ewing for the good challenge reduction and Bird for the visuals for that cockback animation. So that's it, hopefully I explained it that well. If you're still confused with something, just put it down below so everyone can answer you. And again, please let me know in the comment section any feedback or any tips you want to give to everyone. And don't forget to drop by my new gaming channel, link will be down below or you can just click those videos. 